Hello Sagittarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your December mid-monthly reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. The tarot course as well as Zoom readings are both on sale right now for $55 each. And everything that you'll need to know is in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Sag, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Got the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, for some of you guys, I do feel like there's something new here. Somebody that has kind of like stirred your romantic interest. There's some kind of new potential, new opportunity with this new person. Could be with a Pisces, could be with an Earth sign, um, could be with an Aquarius. But I do feel like even though you're, you're feeling some things that maybe you haven't in a while, even though you see this potential and this opportunity, I feel like there's something from your past that you're kind of looking back at. Like, you're looking back over your shoulder like, you know, is this the right thing? Should I really be leaving this fan? Should I really be moving on? You got the Five of Cups. So I do. I feel like you are still, you know, grieving the loss of a connection, even if you were the one that walked away from it. You know, I feel like there's a part of you that's still grieving. And even though you do have something, you know, something else, some new opportunity here, I feel like you're start, it's causing you to kind of reflect, like, am I really ready for this? Like, do I really, am I really ready to leave this behind? So let's take a look. We're going to look at this person's energy towards you. We'll see what spirit has come up. If this is the new person or the past person, whatever spirit wants you to know here. We're going to be looking at their feelings towards you, their intentions towards you, their next actions towards you, how they're viewing you at this time, and the potential outcome. All right. We have the Hierophant, the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. How they view you, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Judgment card for the potential outcome. I'm going to be very honest with you. I, I, For some of you guys, I feel like there's somebody that you guys, you, maybe you guys are already entertaining this new person. You guys could be talking to somebody new. Maybe you're just casually dating somebody. And you're just kind of looking back at the past. You may be being triggered to look back at the past as well because I feel like the past is trying to move back towards you here. And it could be putting you in your head. You may be overthinking, not sure what to do here. Especially because I do feel like you could have a lot of people in your ear. Sad. You could have a lot of like friends or family that doesn't really like this person or doesn't think it's a good idea for you to reconnect with them. Okay, so because I feel like I feel like these birds here are all around. Like I feel like you have a lot. I think you have a lot of people in your ear. Okay, you have a lot going on. But I do feel like your new connection is being put on display here. Someone is definitely seeing that and it's causing them to rush towards you. Okay, so that maybe that's why you're so triggered by this past situation. Because I do feel like them seeing you move forward, them seeing you get this attention, that's how they're seeing you. They're seeing you doing well. They're seeing you get a lot of attention. Um, they're seeing you be supported and praised by somebody else. And it is. It's triggering somebody to move back towards you pretty quickly here. Now, they're coming towards you here. How they're feeling is the hair font. Like they have learned some lesson and they are ready to connect. They are ready to commit to this. King of Wands for their intention, moving towards you very quickly here. They feel like you are what is theirs and they are going to come and claim it. And that's coming through in a very strange way, but that's how it's coming through. The Wheel of Fortune for their action. So 
yeah, feelings, intentions, actions, all aligning here. Somebody's like, you know what? I've learned my lesson. I, I, I this is what I want. I'm ready to. I'm ready to. I'm ready to have it. I'm ready to commit to this. They're taking action. You have the judgment card here, so I do feel like you're going to have a decision to make. The judgment card can also talk about um, reconciliation, can talk, like, talk about resurrecting something that was thought to be lost, but it is a decision, and I do feel like you're going to be the one to have to make it here. So there is somebody here that you're either talking to or casually seeing here, somebody who's showing you a lot of interest. There's potential here with this new person. Let's take a look at this new person's energy and see what's going on with that. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What can you tell me about this Ace of Pentacles? Got the Queen of Cups, could be with a Cancer, Page of Pentacles, or an Earth sign. There is a lot of potential here, and this person is very caring, compassionate, sweet. They're very understanding. I feel like they are in touch with their feelings. I feel like they're very emotionally expressive as well. And I feel like they're also very committed to this. You have Taurus energy here too, and you got the Hierophant. So I do, I feel like... <sighs> I feel like this is a good person as well. This new person is a good person. They definitely care about you. They have feelings for you, and they're very committed to this as well. So it does look like you're going to have a decision to make. Now, this past person seems to be triggered by seeing you talk to somebody else or seeing you get attention, seeing you move forward, um, and it's definitely causing them to take action here. So tell me about this judgment card. Why is the judgment card here for Sagittarius? Got the King of Pentacles and the Empress. And the King of Swords. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus too, because you get this uh, Empress and this King of Pentacles. Some of you guys may feel like this person's only coming back because they're wanting to keep you attached to them. Some of you guys may be setting really high boundaries with this person or trying to make a decision with logic over your feelings, right? More of a head over heart decision. Like, yes, my, I still have feelings for this person. You know, and I may be kind of looking back over it, but, you know, I've grown a lot since then. Some of you guys are feeling like you're better with this new person. You got the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups. You feel like this new person is more in alignment with who you're trying to be and where you're trying to go. But only you guys get to decide what's best for you. You know, I do feel like you're going to have to make a decision of somebody to cut out either way here. But that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this helps in some way. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.